Now the Pixel Machine is a great single serve machine. It does use the Nespresso capsules as you see here. And this machine is really great because, well, a lot of reasons, but one of the ones I want to focus on right now is the, actually the compact size of the machine. So for the weight, it weighs about six pounds. And the dimensions of the machine are actually going to be it's about nine and three quarter inches tall. It's four and three quarter inches wide, and it's actually 12 and three quarter inches deep. So very small machine. It's not going to take up a lot of room on your counter. And the colorways are actually really unique with this machine. Now there is a D60 and a C60. And the only difference between the two actually is the pattern on the side panels. So, Again, here we have the D60 in the steel blue model, and in this video we're actually going to show you a little bit more about the machine and actually brew some shots with it. So, let's get going. So here we have a close-up of the machine, and as you can see, it's a very good looking machine. Um, the height aspect of the machine is great, and the space that it does not take up is really a great feature of it. Um, we actually have a picture that we stacked some capsules next to it, and believe it or not, it's only about the same height as eight capsules. So it's really small and it has a lot of great features to it. So on the front you actually see that there is the bar here which is a lever that activates the chamber so where you would load your capsule. It just plops down in there. We'll show you a little bit later when we get ready to brew. And then you would just close that and you're good to go. On the front of the machine you see that it does have a drip tray here which accommodates a cup that's up to three and a half inches tall. Now you're asking yourself, well my cup's five inches tall, what am I going to do? And the answer is flip it up and that will accommodate your larger cup and that actually does allow for up to a five and a half inch cup to fit under there. Now you might be asking where do the empty capsules go when you're done and that is into the capsule container which is right here. It holds about, I found it roughly up to ten, it depends how they fall, um, but I mean it does accommodate for some uh, quite a few capsules. This you can just take out and wash every now and then along with this which is kind of your drip tray. You do have the stainless steel on the front of it, which is nice. And actually, you kind of have some uh, some nice lights in here. It makes it look very nice in the kitchen. Uh, if the lights are out, it actually uses as a night light, or you know, the, the ambiance it gives is very nice too. Now on the back of the machine, you have your water reservoir. The water reservoir on this machine is 24 ounces. It is easily removable snaps into place and you actually see that it has, I can't really tip it upside down right now, but there's actually the seal below which will allow the water to come out once it has been put into place. And then on the top of the machine, let me actually take this over for you, you have your two buttons, you have your short and your long so you can actually brew the short shot, which is a single shot or a double shot, and both buttons are completely programmable so you can set them to brew the desired amount that you want. And right behind it, you'll actually see that this does is your power switch on and off. Another nice feature that this machine does have to offer is an energy saving mode. So it'll actually shut itself down after nine minutes of not being used. Um, so that's great to save energy, but also it has a thermal block heating element to it. So it's going to heat up very fast. So even though it does turn off after nine minutes, if you turn it right back on after that, it heats up almost instantly. So. That is the highlights of the machine, so let's actually get into brewing with the machine. So now that we're getting ready to brew, um, just something I want to point out is that with the new machine you're going to get an assortment of 16 different capsules. They do come with the machine. What's nice about that is it actually allows you to try out what different blends they have and figure out which one you enjoy the most and then you can go up from there ordering more capsules. So. Just remember to keep track of what color you enjoyed, and then you can actually go to the Nespresso site and see what that color was. To start the brewing process, what you're going to want to do is make sure your machine is on and that your buttons are solidly illuminated. What that means is your machine is up to temperature and is ready to brew. So the next step is going to be opening up the chamber. Just pull that lever up, and you'll see that the opening is mimics the size of your capsule. You drop that in close down that bar and you're ready to brew. The next step would be to choose whether you wanted a single or a double shot and remember those are completely programmable so you can actually choose to brew as much or as little as you would like. So now all you have to do is add your glass. I'm going to select a single shot for this.
and there you have your shot. Now, if you wanted to do another one, 